Edward's Island. The small island silhouette in front of us had gotten pretty close. The island's name is Rokinjima. Yeah, I'm just gonna act like I pronounced that right. It's a small island about 10 kilometers around, located in the Izo Archipelago. Since they call it the Archipelago, the Izo 7, lots of people think there are only seven islands, but that's not true. Well, since it's an archipelago, there's gonna be a fuck ton of islands. There's actually several more, and Roken, Rokenjima is one of the minor islands that don't get counted. Even if, it, if that weren't the case, I doubt you'd find many people who knew about this island. Only people connected to the Ushiromiya family ever go there. In other words, outsiders and tourists never have any reason to care about it. So you'll never find this island's name in a travel brochure. After all, all of Rokenjima is an estate possessed by the Ushiromiya head family. Only the Ushiromiya family lives there, and only people connected to the Ushiromiya family come and go to and from there. There's nothing there except a harbor and a mansion. The vast majority of the island is still just uncultivated forest. Such a waste when it could be made into a nice golf course or something. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck that shit. Screw the natural beauty of the island. I want a goddamn golf course. However, when you realize that the entire coastline is a private beach, it starts to sound pretty magnificent. It sounds fucking amazing. And I would probably just live on that fucking island because fuck, fuck the world, I have a nice island I can live on. You're probably get, you've probably guessed it by now, but to put it simply, well, the Sh Ushiromiya family is just rolling in dough. No shit. The head family apparently possesses a vast fortune, and Dad and the others who make up the branch families have built up plenty of wealth for themselves, finding success in their respective businesses. I've been living a commoner's life in my grandparents' home these past six years, so I'd completely forgotten. But the old bastard's house really is elegant, and everything about it is turned to match the snobbish taste of the annoying rich. Annoyingly rich. Come to think of it, I guess that makes George, Jessica, Maria, and me wealthy, high-class gentlemen and ladies. Needless to say, none of us think of ourselves that way at all. I don't see myself as being rich. And George, who takes self-discipline very seriously, doesn't let himself get too comfortable. Jessica is always complaining that she'd rather move to the city than be rich. And Maria is still a kid who isn't even interested in money at all. Little do you know, she's actually just in the back just counting her money. Or future money, that is. Does that attitude really make us any less snobbish? It depends. It depends. From the perspective of people in poverty who can't pay the bills, we really have been blessed with a lot. No fucking shit. I'd fucking kill for that kind of money. This isn't the place to explain any further, so I won't. Anyway, it's the same as not being able to choose the parents you're born from. I didn't ask to be born into a rich family. I would have loved to ask to be born into a rich family. And I don't think it's really something to be envied. Um, yeah it is. Fuck you. It's definitely something to be envied. Fuck off. I'd much rather have a lot of money than no money. It can be pretty try trying when people are prejudiced against you just because you're rich and refuse to judge you by your merits. Yeah, that sucks, but also having a lot of money is really, really nice. As I pondered these sentimental thoughts, Maria started shouting and leaning over the rail. Okay. I assume she dropped something. Maria kept yelling, gone, gone. At first it sounded as though she did drop something, but while she shouted, she also pointed out over the ocean. If she had dropped something, she would have probably been looking at down at the floor, but Maria was pointing out over the ocean. One would assume by that gesture that she had spotted something, but she kept saying that something wasn't there. Strange. However, since my last memories of this place came from six years ago, I was able to spot it before Anaki, who came, comes here every year. <laughs> Maybe 
鳥居みたいなのがなかったっけあそうだ確かにあったぜ島に近づいてくると最初に迎えてくれる目印みたいなもんだったからよく覚えてるぜ6年ぶりなのによく覚えてるもんだぜあったね、sure. 僕も思い出したよ鎮守の社と鳥居みそういえばないね That's weird as shit. Did, why would someone remove it? 去年は確かにあったと思う。ない。ない。大<笑>方。波か何かでさらわれちまったんだろう。小さい岩だったしな。だいぶ風化でもろくなってたんだろうさ。That's weird as shit. 私もそうだと思ってるんだけどよ。なくなっちゃったのはこの夏のことなんだよ。何でもよある晩に大きな稲妻が落ちてお社を砕いてしまったんだと神主様に落雷があるまでこれは不吉の兆しに違いないと漁民たちはささやいておりますね Go away old lady I don't want to hear about this <laughs> Kumasawa smiled impishly as if teasing us, rubbing her hands together while atoning a Japanese phrase meant to ward off lightning. However, Maria apparently took this seriously and started fixi fixedly, over the stared physic fixedly over the ocean to where the crag housing the shrine god was supposed to be. Don't encourage her. <laughs> Don't teach her things that she probably shouldn't be knowing. God, now she's going to be all upset. Or look for misfortune. Exactly. Oh, fuck. Okay, guess something scary is going to happen because that's just. Because you just had to fucking say that. George put a hand on Maria's shoulder to calm her down, but Maria's sharp eyed expression didn't waver. Good God, I don't, I don't like the fra- I don't like that kind of tone. You can stop that, you're kind of creeping me out. Maria muttered that word over and over. Apparently repeating a single word over and over is a habit that Maria has had for a long time. However, since the word she was saying was literally an ill omen, it was a bit creepy. No fucking shit. It's really creepy. Oh, 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 Maria. Yeah, fucking stop. Aunt Rosa, can you tell your child to stop it, please? So many nando mo kuri kaise tera. Honto ni fukitsu ga yatte kishimau zee. She might want that. I don't know. I tapped Maria's other shoulder. Maria whipped her head around, stared into my face, and spoke unblinkingly. Fuck, this is getting just fucking creepy. Oh, fukitsu. Kuru. God, stop it. Oh my god. You're a fucking creepy ass child. Stop this shit. Eh? Kuru te. Doko kara sa? Oh god, man. She is creepy as hell. I answered lightheartedly, trying to break the tension in the air. This is fucking weird. At that moment, Maria held up a finger, raised her arm high, and pointed up to the heavens. When I looked up, I saw the sky that was just a. Just as cloudy, but it had grown a great deal more、uh, laden, than, laden? Whatever. than it had been that morning. That's right, they were saying that a typhoon was approaching. Fuck. We had planned to spend one night on the island, but if the storm didn't, doesn't pass quickly, I won't be able to make it to school on Monday. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. Well, I guess it makes for a pretty good excuse to be absent. Oh, sorry, I was stuck in a typhoon. She apparently sent some kind of misfortune in this cloudy sky. Aunt Rosa, can you please tell your child to stop being creepy? Please, it would be greatly appreciated. She's been muttering that non stop for a while now. Girls at Maria's age tend to be very impressionable. She's just about the age that many girls start to get excited about six senses, and whether they have any psychic potential and stuff. For all we know, this might be due to her childish, sensitive nature. Aunt Rosa, please, please tell your child. Please, this is really creepy. 
天気は今夜くらいには崩れるかもしれないけど明日には良くなって綺麗な青空になってるよおお綺麗な青空おおそう明日になれば綺麗な青空になるよやまない雨はないし晴れない雲だってない Look at the George shut up stop it We get this is shit that's gonna just okay it, now it's gonna never stop raining and there's gonna be clouds here forever god damn it george if anything bad happens it is all your fucking fault because you're being stupid and keep saying everything can't happen stop it <laughs> oh goody. <laughs> now she's going okay, this is this is not good. Rosa, please tell your child to shut up. I don't feel comfortable doing this. Maria started yelling ooh ooh. It looked as though she was having a tantrum because no one could understand what she was trying to say. I'd just be slowly backing out. What in the world is Maria trying so desperately to warn us about? Unable to understand her, we couldn't help but feel a vague sense of misfortune as I'd slowly back away. I've heard that everyone can feel the supernatural, but that make that it weakens us as you age. But that it weakens as you age. Okay. Ugh. That might mean that Maria, the youngest one of us all, still possess some kind of sense that the rest of us had lost. I wonder if that sense is sending her a warning. After that moment, Kumasawa quietly opened her mouth. Shut up! I I'd immediately tell her to shut the fuck up! Stop it! You don't need to keep encouraging this. Thank you. I greatly appreciate you telling her to shut up. Just as Kumasawa... Sawa was about to tell some kind of story. Jessica sharply interrupted her. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. Jessica's tone was extremely firm for her. I wanted to push her further, just out of simple curiosity. Shut the fuck up, dude! No! But judging by the look of, on Jessica's face, whether whatever Kumasawa was about likely to say would probably make Maria even more uneasy. Oh shit. If I did try to press her for the story, the odds were pretty good that it wouldn't be anything bright and cheery. <laughs> God damn it, she's gonna be the Takano of this story, isn't she? She's gonna be behind everything. I can. That's my fucking guess. Good God. Fuck off. Gossipers have no reason to hang around after they've been told to stop chatting. When Kumasawa finally realized that she'd overstepped her bound, she went back inside the boat. After she left, Uncle Hideyoshi showed up in her place. Since he'd arrived mid-conversation, he completely failed to notice the complicated atmosphere that hung around the scene, about the scene. So he refreshingly and unwittingly stepped, swept that atmosphere aside. So in the end, it was his lack of tact that brightened the mood. もう到着だそうやないか。おう、もうちょいやの。今日は伸びりスピードだから時間がかかってもうたわ。誰のせいやねん。ははははは。うわ、秀吉おじさんも勘弁してくださいよ。もっと言ってやってください。たく。<笑
Oh, George, thank you very much for calming her down. So, sir, George, Oh good, so now whenever he says things, she's going to take him literally. Oh god. This isn't going to end badly. Or if he lies to her, then she's going to be all upset and start crying a bunch. Yeah, this is going to be great. That's why I, I never tell someone I always tell the truth. Fuck that. That's too much responsibility. <laughs> Maria jumped into George's arms and hugged him tightly. After Anaki petted her, patted her head, she jumped away again. Her facial expression had undergo undergone a 180 degree change, turning back to normal. Thank god. It's kind of creepy there for a second. She was once again the ordinary Maria. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just glaze glaze over the fact that she was kind of getting a little creepy there. The harbor was already drawing near. It's a nice little transition screen right there. <laughs> Can we just stay away from fucking from Maria for a while, please? Not that I hate her, I just think she's kind of creepy. The boat gave a big shudder. Seems we've docked at the harbor. The boat driver came out and jumped to the pier with the morning ro mooring rope. A large man in a tuxedo was waiting there for us with a warm smile. I didn't recognize his face, but judging by his clothes, I guessed he was a servant of the Ushiromiya head, head household. お嬢様、お帰りなさいませ。うん、心配ありがとう。フードの大木が怖がっちゃってよ。それで徐行運転だったってわけ。マジでうぜえぜ。うるせえ。いつか客の立場になったら覚えてろ。at this rate, uh, word will spread to the whole family, and I'll be the big conversation piece during dinner. Even without this, everyone everyone would be talking about me because of the six-year gap, and now I'd given them even uh, an even juicier topic. Damn it! Why does the Ushiromiya head family have to live on this isolated island? In the meantime, the boat had finished its mooring. A small prank w plank was lowered so that we could get down. One by one, our parents came out from up from inside the boat. みなさま、長旅お疲れ様でした。奥様、お手をどうぞ。ありがとう。お久しぶりね。ゴーダさんも元気。ありがとうございます。おかげさまで毎日元気にお勤めをさせていただいております。バトラ君はゴーダさんと
お待ち申し上げておりました一昨年から後ろ宮本家にもどうぞよろしくお願いいたしますそう、何かご用命がございましたらいつでもお申し付けくださいゴーダさんお久しぶりですジョージ様ご無沙汰をいたしておりますお手をどうぞあんた相変わらず大した接客のプロやもし職に困ったらいつでもわしに声をかけるんやでいや、yeah, right、いつでも雇ったろこれは身に余る光栄ですどうぞお手を秀吉様ゴーダ then lent a hand to everyone as they disembarked greeting them as they passed his speech and mannerisms had the refined polish of a professional he was very graceful in contrast with his initially tough looking appearance his large size made him seem a bit scary at first but he was much more polite than my first impression had led me to believe He claimed to have served on the island for two years, but he had doubtlessly worked as a, at a similar job somewhere before. After everybody disembarked, the mooring rope was untied and the boat started to steer away from the harbor. It was probably returning to its home port of Nijima, on Nijima. The captain waved his hand in farewell. Maria consi- consciously waved back her, her hand back. Mm. なんだかさっきから違和感があると思ったらあれだな海猫の声を聞いてないぜ no good, the fucking sea bulls. 海猫鳥のか ?If I remember correctly, whether, whenever we came to this island in the past, the seagulls always greeted us with their ニャニャ cries. Because of that, whenever I hear the cries of seagulls anywhere else, I get the feeling that I'm coming to a family conference. Except for the small part of the island where those of the Ushirumiya had family live. Rook and Jima has been left uncultivated, which apparently makes it a paradise for wild birds. Supposedly, there was a cliff somewhere that housed, housed a huge seagull colony, so this island was always full of seagulls. Not having those go- seagulls here to greet us made me feel a bit lonely. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking hate the sound of seagulls. Oh, they're so goddamn annoying. I'd rather just hear a regular bird chirping. Ah,老道馬さん. <laughs> 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 うーん。海猫たちも今日はよそで集まりがあるからかな。マリアも海猫見たかったな。うん、見たかった。なんだってこうもまるっきりいねえんだ。うん。ジェシカがみんな焼き鳥にしてくっちまったんかな。I'm sure that's gonna have its own other story attached to it, why they aren't here. Huh? B-b-b-so-na- Maria-ga-kan-chi-ga-suru-da-ro? Yeah, he really will. <laughs> Good god. Shite-nai-shite-nai! Sonna-no-wa-tashi-ga-suru-wa-ke-nei-da-ro? So-da-so-da! Jishka-ga-yakitori-ni-shita-nda! The fuck? <laughs> Stop fucking teaching the child bad things. <laughs> As I made fun of Jessica, Maria tagged along looking like she was having fun. Oh, I never guessed she was such a good sport. Alrighty then, from today on I'll make you my number one follower. As I smiled at her, she beamed, looking overjoyed, possibly because she was happy about the little connection we'd made with each other. Fuck off, George! We just got her off of a fucking depressing topic. Don't get her back on it. Shut up, George. 
早めに引き上げてるのかもしれないねうん焼き鳥じゃないシェシカお姉ちゃんが焼き鳥にしたんじゃない違う違うわ私はそんなことしないってほらバトラも嘘だったって認めろよバトラ君マリアちゃんは素直な子だからそういう冗談でも真に受けちゃうんだよ冗談も少し選んだ方がいいよ Shut up, George. George gently sculpted me. Even though I outstrapped Anaki in height, An Anaki was Anaki, of course. There was no choice but to obediently apologize. No, fuck George. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, oh, ari, ari. Maria, now it's a joke. The women are already dressed up like the girls. To be fair, she probably shouldn't learn. Pretty quickly, what's the difference between a joke and truth? Batora wa uso? Joshi o ni chan wa honto? Had she actually been tricked despite all the fun that she was having? Her pure eyes made me feel guilty. Maybe I went a little overboard with her after all. Ah, so da, so da. Joshi ani ki ga itta no ga honto da. Enki ga warin de, kyo wa hiki age tan daro yo. Inoku natta waku jana in da ze. Ne, oba san. そうよ明日以降天気が良くなったらきっと戻ってきてミャーミャーと声を聞かせてくれるわうん天気良くなって戻ってくるの待つ明日まで待つ天気良くなるまで待つうんうんマリアは気持ちが明るい気持ちが明るい気持ちが明るい気持ちが明るい気持ちが明るい気持ちが明るい Still, George was really ama really was amazing at taking care of kids. I think I remember Anaki taking good care of me as a as well as when I was a brat six years ago. Anaki, that's probably your gift. George, kun wa chizai kono mendo miru no ga umai wa ne. Hoikushi san demo tsutomerare ru njanai. Nah, George ni san no tenshoku po ze. Watashi teki ni wa shachou shits de business te yori. そっちの方が兄さんのイメージだぜまさか保育士さんは立派なお仕事だよ単なる子供好き程度に勤まる仕事じゃないねいやぬしや本当にジョージ君は謙虚ね You have to be a lot more than just caring about the children でもバトラ君も子供のあやし方が上手よ<笑>いや OK さっきはほんの少しの間だけどマリアとっても楽しそうだった。Uh, I mean that's fair, but he also makes an idiot out of himself. これからも今みたいに遊んであげてね。冗談は選んでだけどね。<laughs> Thanks, Aunt Rosa. Aunt Rosa winked at me, giggling a little. She's a real mother. I thought to myself, who's happy to see Maria? Ha I thought to myself, who's happy to see Maria having fun? Oh, Rosa! No、oh, shit. She seems like a really good mom, actually. Good God. She seems just like a really good person. I'm gonna assume just the worst things happen to her always. Because that's what happens to the really good characters. They always have to fucking suffer. Hi, hi. I'm going the goddamn old lady's probably just gonna be living everywhere. And, you know, whenever anything bad happens, she's gonna be like, Oh, I'm fine, I'm just an old lady. The old bastard was waving for us to hurry up. Yeah, we needed to get moving. We might as well have this conversation after setting our luggage down in our rooms. So, let's go to call to everyone and lead the way. Kumazawa brought up the rear. I really like the music of this game so far. Oh my, it's so fucking peaceful. Like, it just has a really nice feel to it. A serpentine, serpentine twisting path led through a dim forest. It ran a bit uphill. I'd guess the path was made all twisty, so the slope wouldn't seem too steep. But personally, I'd have been happier if they'd had the guts to make some stairs in a straight line. No shit, I'd rather just get it out of the way. 
Just straight up vertical stairs. No doubt they made the path twist on purpose to put on airs as the distance. Now you had to walk. Before long, we saw garden-style stone steps. Uh, from here on, I do have some have some memories. Go up these and at the top of the stone steps, we saw a beautiful guest house. 